Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So I am going to talk about a very important MCQ as well as a clinical aspect. We hear <coughs> about the unifascicular block, the bifascicular block, and the trifascicular block. So what is meant by that? So coming toward that, let's suppose this is the SA node, this is the AV node, and these are those, those branches. So from the SA node, the impulse travel through the atria to comes to the AV node. Now the physical start from this AV node. This is right bundle and this is whole left bundle. Right bundle and left bundle. In the left bundle, we are having anterior physical and posterior physical. Anterior physical, posterior physical. So actually we are having three branches. Physical mean branch. Right bundle, this is one physical. Left anterior bundle, this is another physical. And left posterior bundle uh, or left posterior physical. So by unifascicular block, we mean either this is blocked, this this is blocked, one physical is blocked. So I or this is blocked or this is blocked. The these three are the physicals. So either of them is if it is black, it is unifascicular block. So either right bundle branch block, this is unifascicular block. Or left anterior hemi block, this physical if it is black, unifascicular block. If this is black, unifascicular block. This is left anterior physical. If it is blocked, what will it cause? Left excess deviation. So in its ECG, if you are having right bundle branch block, only right bundle branch block, this is unifascicular block. If in ECG you are having only left excess deviation, you are having this physical block. If in ECG, if you are having only if you are having only right excess deviation, this is left posterior hemi block. Left posterior hemi block. If in ECG, if you are having only prolonged PR interval, so in the MCQ, it is mentioned over there for FCPS podcast. If we are having only prolonged PR interval, then it is unifascicular block. How? If this physical is blocked, the impulse can travel through both of them, but cannot travel through that. If the impulse is traveling through that, it gives you a prolonged PR interval. What is mean by bifascicular block? If two physicals are blocked, the left anterior physical, this both, this physical and this physical, this combined is called left bundle and this is right bundle. So if, the, if two physicals are blocked, RBB with this physical block, RBB with this physical block, are both of these physical block this is bifascicular block mean rbb plus left anterior hemi block rbb with left anterior hemi block but left anterior hemi block gives you left axis deviation so rbb with left axis deviation is bifascicular block rbb with right axis deviation is called rbb with right axis deviation is called bifascicular block only LBB is called bifascicular block because both the left anterior and left posterior physical are blocked. That is called LBB. LBB is an example of bifascicular block. What is trifascicular block? If all the three physicals are blocked, if all the three branches are blocked. So we are having bifascicular block plus prolonged PR interval. If we are having two physical blocks and there is prolonged PR interval, this is trifascicular block this is trifascicular block and what are the two most common causes for the blockage one is the ischemia you must exclude ischemia in any case of block whether unifascicular second is the drugs and third is electrolyte imbalance especially the hyperkalemia trifascicular cases are common with the hyperkalemia but the purpose was to give you the concept that we the left bundle branch is divided into two physicals and the left in, and the and this left anterior physical cause left anterior hemi block and left posterior physical ca cause left posterior hemi block and left anterior hemi block causes left excess deviation left posterior hemi block causes right excess deviation thank you for watching